Hi, this is Engineer D. Good news for engineering students as I will have a web series just for you. It is called the Calculator Tactic Sessions, which is a live event streamed over Facebook via StreamYard. We will have four episodes for Season 1 with four distinguished guest instructors and four different subject matters. All episodes are done either on Saturday or Sunday in late June and early July. Episode 1 is on June 20, Sunday at 2 p.m. with Engineer Xavier Altamera from Ace Plus Review Center as our guest instructor. Topic will be plane and solid geometry using the Canon F789SGA calculator. Episode 2 is on June 27, Sunday at 2 p.m. with Engineer Victor Villafuerte from Keep Up Education as our guest instructor. The subject matter is statistics and he will be using the Canon F789SGA calculator. Episode 3 is on July 3, Saturday at 2 p.m. with Engineer Francisco Onde Jr. from Gilesanya Engineering Review as our guest instructor. He will discuss calculator techniques on engineering economy using the same calculator. Meanwhile, Episode 4 is on July 10, Saturday at 2 p.m. together with Engineer Catherine De Rosario from Review Innovations as the guest instructor. Her subject focus is calculus using the Casio FX 570ES. Looking forward to see engineering students in this web series. See ya, future engineers! And it's time! Ayan! Hello everyone, particularly to all of my 170,000 followers who are watching over my Facebook page. Uh, and ano no, uh, yung mga manonood pa uh, later will join us. This is your very own Engineer D. It's me again, fresh from last night's webinar. So if you're following my page for some time now, uh, as you know, I am uh, Engineer D. I am a 28-year-old Filipino civil engineer, content creator, entrepreneur, solar business professional, and financial advisor. Ju Today, June 20 at 2 p.m. Philippine Standard Time, as shown kanina sa teaser natin, ano, we are having an honorable guest speaker to teach us calculator techniques on a given topic. By the way, I and our guest are both Filipinos and this webinar is intended for our Filipino audience. So we will use English and Filipino in our conversations and presentation today. However, our friends from other countries are free to join as well. To all our audience who are watching right now, comment down your, lo your locations so we'll see where you guys are from. So right now, we are uh, at 104 attendees. Earlier, no, may nakita na akong mga nag-type na mga locations nila. We can uh, silipin natin very quickly kung taga saan ba yung mga watchers natin uh, as of now. Ayan, saglit lang po. Nagkaroon lang po ng technical difficulty. Ayan, from Mindoro, Bohol, Zamboanga, Leyte. Ayan, nadami na. Nagtatag din ng mga friends. No? You can also tag your friends, guys, sa mga hindi pa nakasali dito sa ating live stream. Also from Rizal, Abagyo. Ayan, welcome, guys, to this webinar. Hopefully, marami tayong matututunan regarding calculator techniques. No? So, uh, ayan. So, just to set expectations, this webinar will run for a total of an hour or so. So, we're currently live on the EJRD Facebook page. Ayan. So, before we proceed, no, uh, I will, uh, before I will introduce our speaker, I just would like to say uh, happy Father's Day sa ating mga tatay, mga papa, daddy, father, itay, uh, papang, pa, no? Uh, ha very, ano, uh, happy, happy Father's Day. So, uh, akin din, no? I would like to greet mine who is now in heaven. Uh, actually, ano, pinangalan ako sa tatay ko, I'm uh, Dion Greg. My father is named the Greg. So, he expired in, ano, in uh, uh, February 2018 due to cancer. So, uh, I ho I'm hoping no, na he's having a good time dun sa heaven where he is right now. And I'm very thankful to have a father like him kasi he's very supportive in terms of my career and also sa mga aspirations ko sa buhay. So, to my father, happy, happy Father's Day wherever you are. So, ayan, sa inyo din, no, sa mga tatay ninyo na, ano, uh, instead of celebrating with your father right now, you are here in this webinar. So, don't forget to greet your father a happy, happy Father's Day. So, now, now without further ado, I will now introduce our distinguished guest speaker to share to us calculator techniques and tips. So, ayan, before, no, uh, before I will uh, do that, I would like to share this uh, web series, no, kung ano nga bang uh, calculator techniques session sa to. So, we will have... Uh, four episodes in season one. So today we are already having uh, episode one with uh, engineer Xavier Altamira from East Plus Review Center to talk about pain in solid geometry. For next week, uh, we have engineer Victor Villaferte from Keep Up Education to talk about statistics naman na problems on calculator techniques. 
Uh, for the next, ano, no, on July 3, Saturday, 2 p.m., that's episode 3, we have guest instructor, engineer uh, Francisco Andi Jr. from Gilisanya, no, uh, sa Cebu. Uh, he will, ano, he will uh, uh, solve problems on engineering economy with calculator techniques. So, yeah, the first three episodes will be using the same calculator, the F789SGA. So, episode 4 naman, si Engineer Castellosario from Review Innovations, she will be giving uh, solving problems on calculus naman with calculator techniques. So, that's on July 10, Saturday, 2 p.m. So, featured calculator naman niya is the Casio FX 570ES. So, ayan, no? doon ako sa, ano, mag-focus ako ngayon sa ating uh, speaker for episode 1. We will talk about uh, ano, plane in solid geometry. So our guest uh, instructor is a lecturer of East Plus Review Center. This is a uh, review center based in Iloilo City. He was top seven sa Civil Engineering Board exam noong uh, November 2018 with a rating of 94.6%. Sobrang taas, no? Ako nga, nasa... Ay, hindi ko na share kung ilan yung rating ko. But very, ano, no? very uh, amazing kasi uh, kokonte no? Yung mga nakakapag ano, 90 plus the rating sa uh, Civil Engineering Board exam. So he graduated his Bachelor of Science in uh, Iloilo City sa Western Institute of Technology. So same kami ng, ano, no, ng home province. Uh, I, I mean, I home, ano, home school uh, area. So I'm also from Iloilo. So siya naman sa WIT. Uh, he graduated in 2018. As mentioned, he will be using the Canon F789 SGA calculator. So without further ado, I will now introduce to you Engineer Xavier Altamira. Hello. Ayan. Take it away, Engineer. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome sa Calculator Technique Sessions by Engineer D. I'm your guest lecturer, Xavier Altamera. Uh, I will be using Canon F789 SGA calculator. So this is... No, for I will discuss plane and solid geometry for this season one, episode one. No. So Yun, thank you for that introduction, Engineer D. Okay, wait no. So little info about me, you know, as discussed by Engineer Engineer D. I'm top seven, November 2018, and from Western Institute of Technology, Dito sa Iloilo City. And yung current work ko as sa DPWH, Ilila First District, and lecturer ng East Plus Review Center. And also part-time college instructor sa Western Institute of Technology, yung sa alma mater ko. And yun nga, ang gagamitin yung calculator is yung Canon F789 SGA. So dito, ito, yung list ng approved calculator ng PRC. So, yung dati, nabutan ko pa yung time ko is yung Casio ES 570 ES Plus. So, yun, masanay ako doon kasi yun nga yung nagamit ko ng review. And, yun nga, sa mga sa mga palad din, pinalitan ng PRC yung approved calculators natin. So, dito sa list na to, ang I think na recommended calculator is yung Canon F789. SGA. So kaya mapapansin madalas ito yung discuss ng mga iba ring review center using this calculator. And hindi naman masyadong uh, malayo yung pinagkaiba ng Casio 570ES and yung Canon. Almost the same lang sila ng function. May mga buttons lang na naiba yung pwesto and yung mga names pero same, almost the same function pa rin. No? And reminder ko lang din, uh, hindi pa ako ganun ka-expert sa calculator na to. And bago lang din ako. So, from calculator techniques sa 570 is transfer ko lang din dito sa my Canon F789 SGA. Okay? And sa discussion ko na plane and solid geometry, I will assume na may idea na ka mo about sa plane and solid. Hindi ko masyadong lalaliman yung... Uh, a lecture yung yung behind the cal the caltech no so ano nga ba yung caltech no o yung tinatawag nilang calculator techniques yun na naman yung ano uh, mathematical theories na 
pwedeng gamitin using the calculator for solving engineering problems. No? So, uh, hindi lang siya yung basta yung paggamit lang ng function, hindi lang siya yung basta paggamit lang ng pag-save, pag-multiply. So, minamaximize natin yung use ng calculator. No? So, for this, uh, uh, hindi ko, ano, hindi, ano, hindi, hindi ko lahat madidiscuss no, sa lecture na to. I will choose ko lang, pipiliin ko lang yung mga, mga feeling kong ano, pwede magamit and yung dapat uh, may idea kayo para mapabilis yung pag-solve. So, ito yung problem number one natin using cosine law. So, ano yung caltech sa cosine law? Huh? So, given yung triangle na to, A, 15 meters, B, 20 meters, and yung C, angle C, 30 degrees. So, so pag nakita nyo yung figure na to, given yung dalawang sides and included angle, syempre ang papasok sa, sa isip nyo agad yung cosine law. Diba? Given two sides and included angle. So, ito yung formula niya, di ba? 6 squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2bc cosine c. Ang hinahanap natin is yung side c. So, substitute lang natin yung given dito sa formula. So, 6 squared equals 15 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 15 times 20 cosine 30 degrees. And, ayun makukuha natin yung C equals 10.27 meters. So, ganito, pag yung normal way natin, yung palagi natin ginagamit, using the formula. Pero, paano pag yung Caltech? So, ito. Ang gagamitin nating mode sa calculator is yung complex mode or yung mode 2. So, dito, makikita nyo, ito yung itsura ng Canon 789 SGA. So, mga sinyo wala man masyadong ano oh pang 570 pa rin may mga ibang buttons lang diyan na nagkaiba ng pwesto so ganun pa rin mode 2 so ito makikita nyo so makikita nyo itong mode 2 so yung 2 na yun, ito yung complex Yan, mode 2. So, papansin nyo, nasa complex mode na tayo. Makikita nyo mayroon dito sa may upper screen ng calculator is merong complex. And take note lang na dapat naka-degree setup to, yung calculator natin. Kasi yung gamit natin is degree, 30 degrees. So, para ma-setup yan, shift, setup, o yung itong mode pa rin, shift mode. Then, makikita nyo, is yung, piliin nyo yung degree. Yung number 3. Yan. Minsa kasi, nakakaligtaan yan. Pwede maging region yan. So, mag-iiba yung answer nyo pag naka-region yan. So, take note lang dapat yung setup natin is degree. Setup. And, para magamit yung cosine law na calculator technique, dapat tayo ay naka-complex mode. Yung mode 2. Then, ang next na input natin, ito yung formula niya ng cosine law. Absolute value of A, angle theta minus B. Okay? Ito, pag naka-complex mode na, input nyo lang yung given sa gantong formula. Absolute A, angle theta minus B. So, paano yun? So, pag naka-complex mode na tayo, pinutin natin itong absolute, itong ABS. Then, input lang natin yung side ng A tsaka yung mga values. So, dito, sa A or B, kahit saan dyan, pwede magkapalit. Pwede nyo unahin si 15, pwede nyo unahin si 20. So, unahin natin si 15. 15, angle, paano makita yung angle? Dito sa may integral sign. Yan, integral. Alam ba, makikita nyo, naka-angle na yan. Then yung 30 degrees. 30. Minus yung B, yung another side, which is yung 
20. So, yan na input nyo na sa calculator. Then, equal sign lang. Yun, makikita nyo, 10.27 meters yung answer. Yan, i-input ko lang dyan sa formula na yan, na naka-complex mode, then equal lang. Yun agad yung answer. Okay? So, pwede magkapalit yan. Okay? So, pwede nyo unahin si 20, or next is si 15. Yan. So, walang problema. Okay? So, pwede magkapalit yung dalawang yan. So, itong Caltech na to, pwede na siya magamit using cosine law and ito yung given. Okay? So, pwede kayong gumamit ng traditional and pancheck nyo yung calculator technique. So, yun. Dalawa, dalawa. So, at least may choices kayo, no? So, pwede pag sa board exam, syempre, minsan mabilisan. So, kung gaduwa-duwa mo sa answer nyo, so, pwede kayong gumamit ng Caltech. Okay? To confirm yung uh, traditional solution. Next natin is yung sign law. So, given yung figure, solve for A and B. So, sa sign law naman, syempre, ito, yung traditional way natin is yung paggamit nga ng formula. So, una natin gagawin dyan, di ba? Kumpiti natin yung another angle. So, 180 minus 30 minus 40 equals 110. Then, ito yung formula ng sign law. A over sign A equals B over sign B equals C over sign C. Then, substitute lang natin yung given. Then, equate natin si A tsaka si C. No? Kasi itong unknown, then ito given na. So, equate lang natin sila. Madi-derive natin yung gantong formula. Then, input lang natin sa calculator. Ang magiging sagot niyan is 53.21. And ganoon din si B. B equals 2. Ito. Sa so, madidrive natin, equate lang natin si B and si C. Makukuha natin itong formula na to And magiging answer niya is 68.40. So, ito yung solution pag yung standard na ginagawa natin. No? So, to check using Caltech, ang gagamitin naman nating mode dito is yung equation mode with two unknowns. And ito yung formula na gagamitin. Ito yung parang format na gagamitin natin. So, para mapunta tayo sa may equation mode, mode 5.1. Same lang din yan sa Casio. So, punta tayo dito. Mode, mode, 5. So, yung equation, then 1. Ayun, no? 2 unknowns. Papansin nyo, no? iba yan yung itsura nyan sa Casio. No? Iba lang yung nakalagay dito sa Casio. Pero, same function lang din. And to unknowns. Kaya makikita nyo, mayroon na kayong tatlong. Kapansin nyo, yung format natin dito sa, sa binig, na binigay ko, input lang natin dito. Sa may calculator. No? And take note lang, may format yan, may pattern yan. Kung ano yung una yung nilagay dito, yung AA, then yung BB. Okay? May, ano yan ha, ito medyo stick to to. Compare kanina sa may, ano, Consign lo, pwedeng yan, no, pagpalitan. So, ito, uh, A, kung ano yung dito sa una mong nilagay sa first row, ay first column, yun din dapat sa may ilalagay nyo sa may next. Then, ito, B, B. Okay? And dapat, ang format para magamit yung sign lo is given ang dalawang angle and yung nasa between nila is yung side. Okay? Dalawang angle Tapos, nasa gitna is yung side. Take note ha, yun yung paggamit ng Caltech na to. Given ng two, two angles and included side. So, input na natin. So, ayun. So, cosine A. So, ayan. Cosine A. Ang pinili natin si A, etong si 30. Okay, 30 degrees equal and cosine B si 40 degrees naman. Then yung C ito yung side which is yung 100. Then next is yung sine A. So kung ano yung inay natin kanina, pinili natin A kanina is yung 30 degrees. So yun yung gagamitin natin. So sine 40 
O yun. Then, negative sign B. Take note, negative yan. So, misa sa pa possible na makaligtaan yan. Sign B, yung 40 degrees. Then, 0 na to. Then, equal sign nyo lang. Oops. Iba yung answer. Double check ko lang. Cosine A. And cosine B. And then, sine A. Negative sine B. Zero. Yun. So, nakuha natin is yung 68.4 and 53.21. So, ayan, di ba? Same lang. Okay. So, possible na, oh, saan dito yung B? Saan dito yung A? So, depende yan kung ano yung pinili nyo. Kunyari, una natin ginamit kanina is yung 30 degrees. Ang magiging answer nyo sa X, yung adjacent niya is yung B. So, kaya yung B natin dito is yung 68.4. Kasi ginamit natin yung 30. Inuna natin yung 30. Siya yung ginawa natin A. So, bali, ang next na yan is yung yung A. Yung adjacent naman ng 40. Which is yung value ng Y. So, pwede nyo pagpalitin. So, pwede nyo unahin si 40 dito sa A. Then, si B mo naman is yung 30. Then, dito mo naman 40. Then, 30. So, mababaliktad lang yung ano nila. Yung unang lalabas na answer dyan is yung 53.21. And next na lalabas dyan is yung 68.4. Okay. Then, para ma-check nyo pa. So, papansin, di ba? Based sa rule, dapat mas malaking angle, mas malaking side. So, mas malaking angle na 40, yung opposite side nya, mas mahaba compare dito sa angle 30. Kaya mapapansin nyo, si B natin is 68.4 and si A natin is 53.21. Kasi nga, yun na, mas malaki yung angle na 40 compare kay angle 30. So yun, pang do, ano, triple check na rin yan. Do, pang, ano, para at least hindi kayo, ma, ano, uh, hindi kayo malito. Okay, diba? So yun. Yun na naman using sign do. Okay. Then kung gusto niyo ibalik pala sa tanggalin sa equation mode, mode 1 lang. Mode, then 1. Para mabalik sa default. So, ayun. Next. Ayan, ito lang pala. Ayan. I-input ko lang yan. 53.21. So, ayan. Ang ginamit ko kasi yung 30. So, pag ginamit mo yung 30, pag, pag mag-resolve nyo sa calculator, mauna nyo makukuha itong CB. Pero pag inuna nyo yung 40, una nyo makukuha sa, sa calculators yung A. Ayan. Then, take note lang din ha. Dapat ganito yung given. Dua, dalawang angle na may side between sa angles para magamit yung Caltech na to. Next is yung right triangle given na yung two legs. No? So, paano kung standard na solution to? So, ganito yung ginagawa ka dahil saan. Ganito yung ginagawa ko. So, kung piti natin Pythagorean, so C equals to square root of A squared plus B squared. Yan. Input lang natin yung value. Equals sa square root of 25. Yan. Equals 5. Then, kukunin naman natin yung angle. Siyempre, tangent theta. Equals opposite over adjacent. So, opposite na. Kung hanapin natin si theta, so opposite niya si B. Adjacent niya si A. Then, substitute na natin. So, theta is equals to arctan 4 over 3, which is 53.13 degrees. Then, para masolve naman natin si alpha, 90 degrees minus theta is equals to 36.87 degrees. 
So, yun. Paano naman kung Caltech? So, ito. Actually, ito parang hindi naman siya talaga Caltech. So, parang function lang siya ng calculator. Itong Polar. So, mayroon din to sa mayroon din to sa 570 or 991. And mayroon din sa Canon. Itong Ship Plus. Sa taas ng plus, makikita nyo yung pole dyan. Yung pole. Ayan. So, ito. Sa calculator. Ship then plus. Ayan, makikita nyo. Pole. So, ang input nyo dyan, yung X tsaka Y. So, ang input natin dyan is yung ayan, P4. Mapansin nyo dito, ginawa ko dalawa. May 3, 4, tsaka 4, 3. Kasi, para sa dalawang angle yan. Pag ginamit kasi yung pole, isa lang yung angle na makukuha nyo. So, ang gagawin nyo, para makuha nyo yung other angle, i-ano nyo lang, uh, i-ano nyo lang, ano gaya nyo. Pagpapalitin nyo lang yung pwesto ng dalawa. So, yun. Input natin yung pole, 3. Then, comma, shift, close parenthesis. Then, 4. So, ayun. Equal lang natin. So, yun yung R. Yung radius yan. Then, yung theta. Ito yung angle. So, mapapansin nyo yung R. Yan yung hypotenuse natin. Which is yung 5. And yung theta. Yan yung angle natin. Which is yung 53.13. Okay? So, yun yung nakuha natin. 53.13. Kasi, pag ginamit nyo yung 3 inuna niyo yung 3. Parang ang behind ano kasi dito, ang theory dito is yung nasa Cartesian plane siya and nasa within circle siya. So, ginamit natin x is yung 3. So, ito. So, ginamit natin yung x yung 3. Ilang. So, ginamit natin yung x yung 3. So, ang makuha natin angle dyan, pag ginamit natin yung polar function, is itong theta. Okay. Kaya nakuha natin is yung 53.13 degrees. So, paano naman kung gusto natin kunin si alpha? So, papaitin natin ang pwesto. Gagamitin natin yung x na yung 4. Ito. Paitin natin ang pwesto. So, yung sa calculator, pagpaitin natin ang pwesto, fall, 4, unahin natin yung 4, then 3. Equal sign lang. Siyempre, same pa rin yung hypotenuse niya, which is 5. And yung theta natin, is ano, ang uh, theta natin, is 36.87 degree. Yun, nakuha natin si alpha. Kasi ito yung ginamit natin, ito yung x value natin, so ang nakuha natin na angle is yung si alpha. Okay. Yun na naman yun. So, take note lang din dun. Kasi, possible na pwede magkabalis ka dyan. Yun. Hmm. And yung polar na yan, may reverse din yan. Kung gusto nyo naman kunin yung ano, pahitan nyo lang si rectangle. Kunyari, give naman yung ano, give naman yung angle, tapos give naman yung hypotenuse. Yung counterpart lang ng polar is yung rectangular. Itong shape minus naman itong rectangular. So, given, na, given yung ano, hypotenuse, yung R, then, comma, bigyan natin yung angle. Ayan. Input natin. So, makuha naman natin yung sides. So, dito sa X, makuha natin si 3, and si Y, itong 4. So, ayun. Si polar o si rectangular. So, actually, hindi naman siya Caltech. Yun nga. Parang function lang siya kasi isang function lang naman din yung ginamit natin. Eh. Polar lang tsaka rectangular. Minsan, ito lang yung mga hidden features na hindi natin napapansin during college, college days. No? And, effect, ito, mag, ito maganda to kasi syempre, pag board exam, wala nang, no, hindi naman nang show your solution, di ba? So, kailangan mabilis lang. Mabilisan tayong ano, And dapat, hindi lang speed, syempre speed and accuracy yung importante. So ako dati, kahit sabihin mong may Caltech pa rin ako, 
uh, ginagawa ko pa rin yung traditional way para ma-double check ko yung yung answer ko. Okay. Yup, nakuha niyo yun. Next natin yung uh, solid. Sa solid naman, uh, ito, volume of a spherical segment. So, itong segment na ito, medyo ano ito, di ba? Medyo hindi siya familiar, especially yung formula niya. So, unlike sa mga regular, ano lang na, cylinder, cube, alam natin yan na, ano, base times height lang. Area of base times height. Yun yung formula for volume. Eh, paano pag segment? Medyo, yung formula niya, unique, and madalas possible na makalimutan. And ito, ang papakita ko sa inyo is yung calculator technique to solve for volumes, solid volumes, especially sa mga segment. And may integrate lang tayo dito ng, ano, ng calculus, integral calculus. Medyo gagamitan lang natin siya ng konting integral calculus. Pero hindi ko na siya masyadong i-discuss kasi yung about the technique lang yung i-discuss ko. About the use. So yun, meron tayong given dito na spherical segment. So may radius siya na 4. And ito. And ito is meron tayong distance ng upper base 1 meter from outer surface and lower base is 3 meters from outer surface. No. So yung total height ng spherical segment natin is yung 2 meters. So, paano isasolve ito? So, unang-una, masasolve natin to using the stat mode, quadratic. So, paano makita sa calculator yan? Same lang din yan sa ano, 570 mode, then stat, 3, then quad, 3. So, may makikita kayong parang tables dyan. So, next, ang gagawin natin, pipili tayo ng reference line no or reference point sa circle sa sphere no so ang pinili ko is sa baba sa baba yung pinili kong reference line so kumbaga lahat ng distance is manggagaling dito sa reference line natin so yon so using the you know uh, stat mode quadratic kailangan need natin ng tatlong data. We need three data para magkumana yung stat na quadratic. So, ano yung data na yun? Dito manggaling sa tatlong lines na to. From reference point sa gitna and sa pinakadulo sa taas. So, dito, distance niya, ito yung zero. From reference point, ang distance niya is zero. And yung radius dito sa pinababa zero din kasi ito yung pinakadulo eh. Makikita nyo, walang radius diyan. Next natin, itong sa gitna. So sa gitna, ano yung distance niya from reference point? Yung radius natin, which is yung 4. Syempre, ang radius niya rin sa gitna, 4 din. Syempre. Next is yung sa pinakamat pinakataas. So distance niyan is yung diameter which is yung 8. And yung radius dyan, 0. Papansin nyo ah, 0. So ito, yung 0 for 8 na to, yan yung distance ng linya na to from reference line. So ito, distance niya is 0. Distance na ito is 4. And distance na ito is 8. So para mapakita ko pa. Yan ito. So, distance na ito, 4 meters. And distance na ito, yan, 8 meters. Then, yung radius nila dito sa point na to is 0. Sa gitna, radius dito is 4. And radius dito sa pinakataas is 0. So, mayroon na tayong tatlong data. So, ngayon, i-input natin yan dito sa may calculator natin. So sa x, ang representation niyan is yung distance from reference point, no? 
And dito sa y is yung area relative to distance. Okay? So, ang papansin nyo, ang input natin sa x itong 0, 4, 8. Ito, 0, 4, tsaka 8. Itong 0, 4, tsaka 8. Then yung area niya. So, sa 0, syempre wala siyang radius. So, 0 din yung area niya. Dito sa may 4, so ang area niya is pi r squared. Yung area, yung parang cross-section. Pag hinat tong sphere, makita nyo may bilog dyan. So, ito yung area niya, pi r squared. Dito naman sa may 8, syempre, lumit na naman yung area niya, 0 na naman. So, 0 din yung area niya. So, yun yung input natin sa calculator. Kasi mayroon na tayong tatlong data eh. So, input natin, 0. Oops. Stop. So, 0, 4, 8. Then, 0. Then, pi, r squared. So, yung r natin dyan is 4. Squared. Yan. Then, 0 din. So, pag nagawa nyo na yun, pinutin nyo na yung CA. So, pero nasa stat mode pa rin tayo pag pinindot nyo to. Ano? Take nyo to. Mapansin nyo, may nakalagay pa rin na stat. Uh, so, that means nasa stat mode pa rin tayo. Yan, dito napapasok si calculus. Ha? Si integral calculus. Kasi gagamitin natin yung integral of y dx. So, yung y is representation ng volume ay ng area and yung dx yung distance no so kaya pa sim area times distance Ayan, Engineer Xavier, nawala lang ata very quick yung ano mo. Yung uh, audio mo. Hello? Hello, Engineer? Ayan, nagtakaroon lang po tayo na ano, no, konting uh, technical difficulties sa ating... Ayan, I think I'm hearing ano na. Uh, engineer, okay na ba? Yan. Ayan, nice siguro na. natanggal lang. <laughs> you can proceed na, engineer. So, ayan. Ano nga yung kanina? Saan ako na ano? Hindi ko lang kung saan na, na naputol yung sound. Uh, Doon banda sa may ano, engineer nung ma, uh, sa integral y dx parang sabi kang multiply tapos biglang naputol. Okay. So ayun na uh, yun na nga yung y na to ilalagay natin dito sa may integral na to. So ang tanong na lang is paano makuha yung equation na to? Sa stat mode, doon natin makukuha. So, ngayon, pupunta tayo dito sa my. Yung kanina, after natin, ano, after natin input yung data kanina, CA lang, okay? Hindi nyo babalik sa mode 1. Naka-stat mode pa rin tayo. Ayan, makikita nyo yun dito. Then, pupunta kayo sa my apps. 
apps. Ito yung, ito yung iba sa Canon compared sa 570. Mayroon na siya ditong apps. Okay. Then, pinutin nyo yung 8. Yun yung regression. Then, punta nyo si A. Yan. Equals nyo lang. Yan. Zero makikita nyo. Pero save nyo lang kay A. Save nyo lang. Store nyo lang. Same lang din yung pag-store sa 570. Ship. Recall. Then, pili kayo kung kaninong letter nyo ilalagay. Siyempre, para mas madali, kay A pa rin. Yan. Lagay nyo kay A. Then, same process. Apps. Regression. Then, si B. 2. Yan. Then, save nyo naman kay B. Yan. Then, ulit ulit. Apps. Then, regression. Si C naman. Then, store naman natin kay C. Yan. So, mayroon na tayo. Nakuha na natin si coefficient ng equation na to, Yung A, B, C. Okay. So, pag nakuha nyo na yun, na-save nyo na, yung tatlong yun, pwede na kayo bumalik sa may mode 1. Mode 1. Pag, nang, pag nakuha nyo na yun, i-input lang natin tong itong formula na to. Input lang natin yung formula na yung kanina. So, integral of y, yun yung a plus bx plus c squared. Alpha a, recall lang natin yan. Alpha b, alpha x, x, alpha b, alpha x, plus alpha c, alpha x squared. Oops, alpha x squared. Then, close parenthesis. Yan, same lang din dito sa sa presentation ko. Ito, yung volume ng sphere. So, yung y kanina, nakuha natin yung equation, pinalitan lang natin ng a plus bx plus c squared. So, yun, a plus bx plus c squared. Yan na. Then, ngayon, ang tanong na lang dyan is ano yung limits? Ano yung upper and lower limits? So, pag kukumpitin natin yung buong sphere, yung buong sphere, from reference point to, to sa extreme. So, from 0 to 8. So, para makumpute natin yung buong sphere. Para makumpute natin yung buong from 0 to 8. So, kaya pag in-input nyo yan, 0 tsaka 8, pag in-equal sa inyo, so, ang lalabas dyan is 256 over 3 pi. O, kung tayo natin sa manual, so yung 268 na yan, ito yun, 268.08 cubic unit. Then, yung normal na formula is 4 thirds pi r cube. So, same lang din. Pag full na sphere. No, paano naman pag, yun nga, yung segment nga, syempre parang iba yung madali lang kung full ba 4 thirds pi r cube madaling i-memorize yan. Paano nga pag itong part lang? Etong naka-blue lang na to. So mag-iiba yung limits niyo. Same pa rin formula pero iiba niyo lang limits niyo. Ang magiging limits niyo lang is from dito sa sa bottom base papunta dito sa may upper base. So kailangan compute niyo lang yung limits from reference point. So ano ba yung reference point na yan. Ito, kaya nang sasabi ko, from dito, punta kayo dito sa may lower, lower base, papunta sa upper base, which is yung 5 meters siya from dito, and 7 meters from dito sa baba. So, paano ko yung 7 na yan? Di ba, 8 yung pinaka-total diameter natin dito. So, minus 1, magiging 7. Then, minus 2, magiging 5. So, kaya ang magiging limit natin dito is from 5 to 7. Kasi itong shaded lang yung kukumpitin natin ng volume. So, tamang gawa yun. Ayun, 5, then 7. Then yun na. 73.30 cubic unit. So, yun lang. So, pag iba yung given, kunyari tatlong case, nandito naman sa baba, 
So, iibahin nyo lang yung limits. Okay, iibahin nyo. Once na nakuha nyo na equation na to, i- ma- pwede nyo nang baguhin na lang yung limits para masolve yung volume ng segment. Okay? Kung traditional way, ganito yan eh. Pag two bases, yung pares sa pinakita ko, ito yung formula niya. Then, ang mangyari pa, kukunin nyo pa yung dalawang radius. No? Nagamay pa kayo ng trigo. Then, kung one base lang, ito yung formula. So, medyo, ano, medyo mahaba-haba yung solution niya compare sa Caltech na in-incorporate lang ng integral. Yun. Balik nga. So, ito. Uh, gamit to Medyo ito yung sa pina, lahat na pinakita kong calculator technique. Ito yung mas madalas kong gamitin. Kasi mas ano siya, uh, mas useful siya. Mas gamit siya sa volume. Gamit siya sa hydraulics. Makikita niyan. Magamit niyo rin din yan sa calculus. Sa hydraulics especially. No? Sa pag-compute ng flow rate. Na mga kanya iba-ibang shape. Ito yung mas ginagamit ko. Kesa mag-derive. Pero syempre dapat alam nyo pa rin yung traditional way. The next, uh, last, ano ko, last problem ko, itong pag-compute ng volume of a cone. cone. Siyempre, ano, same pa rin ng principle dun sa sphere. Ganun pa rin. Gagamitin pa rin natin yung stat mode, quad mode, three, three. And pinakaiba lang na ito, syempre yung shape niya. And yung principle ng pagkuha ng reference. So pag sa cone, papansin nyo, pwede kang mag, may ano dito, uh, uh, may as, imaginary line dyan, na parang symmetrical sa cone. Kasi conic to eh. So, symmetrical dyan. Maglalagay lang kayo dyan. Then ang magiging reference nyo, line nyo, is dito sa may gitna. Sa pinakagitna. So, ayan, dito yung reference line nyo. Then, yun yung magiging zero. And dito sa imaginary nyo, doon yung magiging negative 5 and 5. Ganun pa yan. Ito pa yung height. Height ng cone natin is yung 5. Then radius natin is 2. So papansin nyo, dito sa may baba, radius natin dyan is 2. So 2 yung radius natin. Sa gitna, walang area dyan. Walang radius. So 0. Sa taas, sa imaginary natin, 2. Okay, kasi need pa rin natin ng tatlong data eh, para sa start mode eh. So, yun. Same pa rin. Input pa rin natin. Negative 5, 0, 5. Then yung area, pi r squared. Then 0, pi r squared. So, try natin sa calculator. Mode, 3, 3. Then negative 5. Then 0. Then 5. Then pi r squared. 2 squared. Then zero, then pi per squared. Then eight, see na tayong then ganon pa rin ups eight. Then yung a save na tayong kay a. Then si b save na tayong kay b. Then si c. Ayan na, ups, regression, pa makita nyo yan, then C. Then, save natin kay C. Ayan. Then, same, integral pa rin, balik tayo sa mode 1. Integral, then, input natin yung equation na A plus BX plus C squared. Ayan. Then yung limits natin. Ito, yung limits na to, ito na yung magbabago kung anong volume. Kung yung buong cone, yung volume ng buong cone yung hanapin natin. Syempre, ang magiging limits natin from 0 to 5. No? 0 to 5. Okay? So, kung 0 to 5, 0 5. 20 over 3, 5. So, yun yung Yun. So, 
So, yung normal na formula niyan is one-third base times height. So, pag full cone. No? Nakuha niyo yung pagkuha ng reference. From reference, lahat ng kung ikaw po pili kung saan yung reference mo. Pero recommended is dito sa may gitna. Okay? Then, dito na lahat na manggagaling yung distance mo. 0 to 5 kung full. Pero paano pag ano, kung binigay sa given, dito lang sa baba. Dito lang shaded niya. So, ano ba yung tanong? Ano yung height niya? So, kung height niya is 3 meters. So, ang input niyo dito, from 0 to 3. Yun lang yung babaguhin niyo. So, yan. So, ang volume niya is 4.52. Pag ito yung given. No? Paano naman pag ano? Paano naman pag yung nasa baba? Paano naman pag ito? Ito yung hinahanap. No? Paano naman pag ito? Tapos given, ito is 1 meter. Yung height niya. So, ang reference point natin dyan, magbabago. Ay, yung, yung limits natin magbabago dyan. So, from reference point pa rin. So, itong baba. So, 5 siya. 5. Then, dito is 5 minus 1 lang. 4. So, magiging reference natin dyan. Ang magiging integral natin dyan is 0. Ay, 4. 4 and 5. Kasi ito lang yung kinukuha natin na volume. So, magbabago lang yung limits natin. So, kung itatay natin yan sa calculator, 4 and So, yun. 10.22 yung answer niya. So, kaya maganda tong Caltech na to eh. Yung mode T3 na to. Kasi yun na nga. Uh, useful siya. No? Kasi yung mismong general formula na ng cone. Kung babaguhin man yung ano, kung gagawin niya mga frustum, pwede niya magamit. Iibahin niyo lang yung limits. And yun na nga. Gamit yan sa may hydraulics and calculus. Yan. Yan na naman yung last ko na for ano, uh, last uh, problem ko for this session. Ang advice ko lang din, uh, yung calculator techniques is tool lang yan. No? Hindi siya yung pwedeng uh, yun lang yung maging ano nyo, yun lang yung maging weapon nyo. No? At extra tool lang siya for board exam. Importante pa rin na alam kabisado nyo yung formula Kapisado niya yung principle, kapisado niya yung manual solution before kayo mag-jump sa calculator techniques. Kasi yung calculator techniques is wala din kung hindi nyo naiintindihan yung, yung, yung mismong topic. Okay? Eh, minsan, minsan ito mga techniques na ito, uh, share ko lang din na, uh, kunyari, sample, di ba yung problem ko is given yung volume. Paano, paano, paano naman pag hinahanap yung radius? Given yung volume, hinahanap yung radius. Paano gagawin natin doon? Balik tayo sa may sphere. So, sample lang din pala. Uh, dagdag ko lang. Paano pag given yung volume, then hinahanap yung radius. Okay. Then, nakalimutan nyo yung formula. No? Kasi gusto nyo gamitin yung Caltech. Ang gagawin nyo, apat na beses nyo itatay ito. Uulit nyo, apat na beses. Ang input nyo na radius is yung given. Nakuha nyo. Given yung ilalagay nyo sa calculate, sa na data. Then pag nasolve nyo yung volume, pumaraya sa given. So kung ano yung sa apat na beses kayo nagtry sa letter A, B, C, D. Kung ano yung nagparehas na volume dun, yun yung tamang sagot. Okay? So yun, uh, tips ko lang din na kung sakaling gusto nyo gamitin yung Caltech na to, E baka sabihin nyo, uy, pang volume lang to. Paano naman pag reduce yung hinahanap? So, yun. Uh, pwede nyo i-back solve. Gamitin yung choices para masolve yung problems. And, yun. Uh, thank you.
for sa listening sa may sa topic ko na plane and solid geometry calculator techniques. I hope may natutunan kayo eh may nagdagdag sa knowledge nyo. And good luck sa pagre-review sa mga kukuha ng board exam. Ayan. Thank you, Engineer Xavier Altamera. No, I really like uh, what you said about uh, calculator techniques being a tool. Uh, importante pa rin no, na yung mga, ano natin, mga engineering students and also yung kukuha ng board exam. Uh, they know the formulas, they know the principles in the uh, calculator techniques is ano lang, kumbaga, uh, just for checking no? and also to uh, speed up yung ano natin, yung pagsagot uh, during the actual board exam. I remember dati kasi nung kapanahunan ko, grabe, parang sobrang tagal na. No? I, I, I took my uh, board exam in uh, May 2015. Ang gamit pa namin dati was 991 ES+. Plus. So naturuan din ako ng uh, review center ko before ng uh, calculator techniques. And it's true no, na importante pa rin na ano na uh, you know the principles beyond the ano, beyond the uh, calculator techniques as a calculators. Ayan. So, so at this point no, I will uh, give uh, opportunity for as uh, uh, engineer Xavier Altamera to promote yung uh, uh, where he is from no, uh, anong review, review center ba, uh, anong background, what they offer and uh, ano uh, the uh, advantage of uh, his review center. So now uh, engineer you can uh, proceed with your presentation of ACE Plus Review Center. Ayan. So yun, sa mga kukuha ng board exam dyan, especially dito sa Western Visayas and Iloilo City. And we're offering the a review, review program for civil engineering, master plumbing, and architecture. And kung gusto nyo makita yung details about doon, pwede kayo mag-like and mag-message dito sa Facebook page namin na Ace Plus Review Center. And sa mga gusto pa lang bumili ng calculator, ang Ace Plus Review is one of authorized seller dito sa Western Visayas. So ang price namin, regular price is 1244 And kung enrolled ka sa Ace Plus Review, may discount syempre. And member ka ng PIC Iloilo. Yan, siyempre yung uh, laman siguro dito, ang mga kaano na dito is yung mga taga Western Visayas na mga nanonood na sa mga nanonood. And we offer civil engineering review for program. The only review center for civil engineering, architecture, and master plumber in Western Visayas with face-to-face -face classes. No? Face dito, face-to-face -face, face -face kami, pwede mag-face-to-face. -face. Approved na ng Iloilo City Government given na 30% capacity lang. No? And meron kami yung ano, blended program with face-to-face, -face, kasama na rin dyan yung online. May online apps na ginagamit para madugangan na tool sa pagre-review nyo. May, and flexible schedule din. Uh, mayroon kaming morning, afternoon, and evening classes. And subject for availability kasi yun na nga, 30% lang yung capacity per batch. And may ending kaming personal coaching para matutukan talaga namin kayo kung ano yung mga special needs na kailangan nyo kung ano pa yung kulang nyo pa kung ano pa yung dapat na idagdag nyo during review. And syempre, importante yung safety protocols and contingency plan. Alam naman natin yung panahon ngayon na uh, uh, medyo hindi pa yung nawawala yung COVID. May times na lumalala, may times na bumabalik. Okay, so importante na sa amin na yung safety ng students. And yung program details namin, Reservation fee is 3,000 for full program na yun. Start of class, July 5 for 5 months. And we offer flexible payment terms. No? So, pwede kayo mag-enroll. Especially sa mga estudyante na nanonood ko dyan kung meron man and sa mga taga Iloilo City. And pwede nyo makontact through landline and mobile phone and to our Facebook page. Ayan. Thank you. Ayan. Salamat, uh, Engineer uh, Xavier Altamera, no, for gracing this event. So at this point, I will now uh, present yung ano natin, yung certificate of recognition.
segment So thank you uh, engineer Xavier no for uh, imparting your knowledge uh, with this uh, topic pain in solid geometry I will now read the certificate of recognition awarded to engineer Xavier Altamera for serving as the guest lecturer on the first web series for engineering students of engineer D called the calculator technique sessions on the subject plane in solid geometry held virtually today on June 20 2021 over the engineer D Facebook page with more than 170,000 organic followers Composed mostly of young engineers. So sign yeah. Yan, uh, thank you again, uh, Engineer CV Altamera. I will now take the floor uh, for some announcements no, uh, uh, regarding the Engineer D page. Naman. So ngayon, thank you. Uh, ayan, thank you, Engineer. Engineer thank you for so, inviting will, me sa webinar. Uh, very, it's my pleasure no, to, have you, uh, to have you on this uh, event. Ayan. So at this point, no, uh, I will now uh, share some announcements. Kung na-miss niyo yung kahapon regarding my website, I already have my website, ingerd.com, which have their content related to construction since uh, for the month of June, I'm posting articles and features on construction. So go over there, uh, ingerd.com, and ayun no, I'm open for contributions and submissions. So feel free to send them over uh, at my email, ingerdreyes at gmail.com. And also, if you ano no, mayroon kayong mga requests regarding sa inyong schoolworks, Probably I could help you, but I cannot promise that I could accommodate everyone since ano, uh, I'm being flooded with the messages every day. So ano, no, if you have certain requests, uh, send them over my email instead of sa ano, Facebook page ko since uh, yung inbox ko is full na and I don't uh, check my uh, inbox sa, sa Facebook page ko every day. So, you know, and also, I would like to share that uh, I am now a financial advisor under AA Phil M Life. So if you're looking for a life insurance policy, I can definitely help you know, uh, with regard to coverage in accident, critical illness, hospitalization, educational funds, savings and investments, and also retirement. So I'm a licensed insurance agent of AA Philam Life. I'm a rookie financial advisor coded last January lang. And I'm already a candidate leader for promotion, hopefully this year. And also I'm a consistent monthly producer. So again, yeah, I have there my contact details, both my email and my Telegram account uh, for ano, for inquiries then or for uh, ano, insurance needs. No? Ayan. So also, a uh, reminder lang about my webinar schedule for those who are still uh, with us even after 1 hour and 11 minutes na. No? Uh, at 82 people nandito pa. But kanina, I think we picked at 150 something. So the webinar schedule already done yesterday with uh, Engineer Mark Santiago about everything you need to know about lean construction. And right now, we just finished our uh, episode one of Calculator Technique Sessions featuring uh, Engineer Xavier Altamera with the topic Pain in Solid Geometry. So for uh, this, I don't know, this Tuesday, we will have another event of uh, the Rise of the Slashies, Be Part of the Revolution. So this is my career talks by Engineer D. So dito ko ano, i-explain uh, yung decision ko to become a slashy and my, ano, my uh, uh, intro to the insurance business venture of EGD. So as, as I mentioned, no, I am a licensed financial advisor. So bakit ko ba siya in-explore? Uh, it's a Zoom webinar. So you may need ng registration dyan. So just check out my Facebook events to check the details. Ayan. So yeah, no, reminder lang, next week we will have uh, Engineer Victor Villafuerte from Keep Up Education as our guest instructor on the topic uh, statistics naman. That's episode 2, June 27, Sunday, same time, 2 p.m. using the same calculator. So uh, ayan, uh, as I mentioned, we have another uh, set of uh, calculator technique sessions on uh, July no? July 3 and 10 featuring Engineer Francisco Onde and Engineer Kathleen Rosario from different review centers. Ayan, so I'm very excited. I uh, yesterday, I already mentioned that we'll have plenty of giveaways in the future and I'm just setting up the mechanics and also secure the uh, copies. So we'll be giving away Outsmart the board exam, the Padayon notebook, as uh, the uh, books by Max Mahardo, no, useful for civil engineers and mga ano no, mga bago sa industry ng construction, and also some books na ano no, uh, currently for ano for mag magagamit ng mga civil engineering students. Since I have I have here a library na ano na mga used books. So, pwede nating uh, i-give away yan para ma mapakinabangan naman ng mga future civil engineers natin. 
So at this point in lang, no, I will now end this uh, this session of calculated technique sessions by saying an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. So hindi lang natin alam kung the author. But ayun, no, again, I will highlight this quote. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. This has been EGRD. Thank you and see you in our next webinar. Bye, guys.